Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Bold and the Beautiful Bank. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. Bold and Beautiful Backlash Steffi's secret could be, spoilers dream come true. After the successful hope for the future preview in Rome, Steffi is about to reunite with her loving husband Finn, but she's keeping a secret that could stir up some bold and beautiful style trouble for the couple down the road. Trouble ahead, Finn's friendly gesture on bold and beautiful might be the worst decision of his life. Steffi had finally decided to relax her concerns about Hope and Thomas in Italy when, ironically, she learned that something had in fact happened between the two of them. Wandering outside and taking in the scenery after the event concluded, Steffi came upon a startling sight. Liam. Not only was she surprised to see him in Rome considering he hadn't traveled there with his wife and the rest of the group, but it became apparent very quickly that he was upset. The brunette was stunned when her ex-husband related how he flew over to surprise Hope, only to have to go searching for her, and when he found her, the shock was all his. Steffi reeled as Liam described his wife pulling her brother into a passionate kiss as they stood in front of the Colosseum. Her suspicions that Hope had feelings for Thomas had been correct all along. Steffi's jaw dropped as she took in the stunning information and listened to Liam tearfully declare, I think my marriage is over. It was the one betrayal he wouldn't be able to forgive due to their history with Thomas. Israel's national football is missing something hashtag bring them back. In that moment, a strange thing happened. Liam leaned in and kissed a confused Steffi. Okay, perhaps it's not at all strange given that this is bold and beautiful. In fact, we might have expected it. And yet we were still taken off guard by the abrupt pivot. The expression on Steffi's face told us that it wasn't necessarily a betrayal on her part. She was as surprised and taken aback as any of us, but she has always had a soft spot for Liam, so it could have stirred up feelings. At any rate, there was no slap or obvious anger. At least, we don't think there was, we don't actually know what occurred in the immediate aftermath thanks to a wee time jump that ended one episode with the kiss and began the next with Liam back in Los Angeles and Steffi on the Forester jet waiting to take off. We don't know if Steffi and Liam agreed to never speak of the kiss again, but we're going to assume that's the case. If so, it could prove to be a huge mistake on the Forrester co-CEO's part, as it may open the door for an insidious evil to enter her marriage again. Who else could we mean but Sheila? If Steffi decides to keep mum about Liam kissing her, and Finn finds out about it from another source, as innocent as Steffi was in the whole thing, it's not gonna be a good look. It will appear she had something to hide. Otherwise, why not just be honest with Finn about what happened? As we all know, Sheila is determined to chip away at her son's animosity, and if his belief in Steffi is shaken, it could provide a crack for her to slither in through. It's all she would need. Do you think Steffi's secret will harm her marriage down the road? Give us your take in the comment section. Look back on Steffi and Finn's love story in the photo gallery below. Bold and Beautiful's scene canon reflects on what was personally a Almost very difficult years story after the iconic General Hospital storyline that found Stone Cates and Robin Scorpio falling in love amidst heartbreaking diagnosis of AIDS and HIV, the impact is still felt. Not just by viewers, but by the writers and actors involved as well. Yes, even the one performer who had to be massive ashat at a pivotal moment. Bold and beautiful solution to its Taylor problem may leave Steffi saying, I do, to a whole new nightmare. After fans posted a video clip of Michael Sutton's Stone sharing his news at the June 1995 Nurses Ball, bold and beautiful leading man Seam Cannon offered a heartfelt and thoughtful reflection on the harsh and bigoted comments made by A.J. Quartermain that spurred Stone's passionate declaration. This was personally a very difficult storyline for me to play, tweeted Cannon, who played Alan and Monica's son from 1993 to 97, and then again from 2012 to 14. Having tons of gay friends as well as relatives, I was conflicted. My character exuded ignorance and a lack of self-evolved understanding. Woo. That's an understatement. Longtime viewers will recall that AJ started out insisting AIDS didn't deserve special treatment. It's just another illness, he dismissed, putting a table full of family and friends on uneasy alert. This was personally a very difficult storyline for me to play. 
Having tons of gay friends as well as relatives, I was conflicted. My character, A.J. Quartermain, exuded ignorance and a lack of self-evolved understanding. Ultimately, I embraced the story because it was the story that, when Robin, our beloved Kimberly McCullough, wondered if A.J. truly believed that AIDS wasn't all that important, he doubled down. There's a lot of very horrible diseases out there that deserve our attention and our money, he said, citing breast cancer and tuberculosis. He even went as far back as the plague in 1348. Who knew A.J. was an infectious disease scholar of this caliber? General Hospital revisited Stone and Robin in 2010, when Robin was trapped. Then A.J.'s barbs took on an even more hateful tone. The only people who get AIDS are gays who act irresponsibly, IV drug users who are hell-bent on destroying themselves anyways, and people who are so damn stupid that they deserve to get it, he insisted, repeating what was, and unfortunately still is, a commonly held belief in the real world. All you need to protect yourself is half a brain. Ew. Gross. While the audience needed to see Stone's bravery in standing up to this terrible rhetoric, it's still hard to hear or read, and it was sure tough for Cannon to play. Ultimately, I embraced the story because it was the story that was so important rather than my character, he said of his catalytic lines of dialogue. I am still very proud of the work the show produced about a socially relevant and humanistically important subject. As he should be, Stone and Robin didn't just teach AJ a lot, they reached the hearts and minds of General Hospital fans as well. AJ is not the only soap character to do something heinous and unforgettable. Look back at a whole slew of malicious misdeeds via our gallery below. Come back to our channel for all your updates. Thank you for watching.